Hello and welcome to a special What's in the Box. This week we've got Sedition Wars, straight from the Kickstarter. Um, I'm really excited about this. It's a big box of fun, really. It's bloody um, heavy. Yeah, it's bloody heavy. <laughs> we've uh, braved Snowmageddon and come out, despite metres of snow outside. Um, actually, Stuart was killed by a Tauntaun. Um, <laughs> so yeah, so Mike McVeigh, if you don't know who he is, get out. Um, you know, big designer for GW, big designer for Privateer Press. It's it's got you know real star credentials on this. It's going to be a brilliant product. So I can't show you the box under the camera. It's just too big. So we'll start with what's actually in the box. So first off, we've got the rule book. It's a nice glossy 60-page book. Um, full rules in here. Nice um, drawings. You've got the the scenarios. I mean, this this can be played either as a kind of standalone um, scenario play game, so you can go through the entire campaign from start to finish, or you can just do pick up games with it. So you can go in, um, sort out the force you've got, and then just play a, you know, a death match, or um, kill team, or survivor, kill the VIP, all kinds of awesome stuff there. Um, yeah, really well written, really nice piece of work there. Um, full coverage of the rules. Artwork's fantastic. Yeah, really nice, really artwork. nice artwork. Really, really good. So next up, we've got the first page of counters. Now, it's really nice heavy card stock, each one emblazoned with the Sedition Wars um, iconography. So first off, we've got all the kind of status effects. You've got corpse tokens, you've got uh, fire, bleeds, uh, all your different orders. You've got your different kind of templates for your AOEs and things like that. And I believe this is a That's train a car. Yes. Oh, it's a train so car. You've actually yeah. got... Um, the, the story of the game is it's um, based on like a space station for research purposes and yeah, um, in, in the terms of this galactic empire they've got there's been an uprising in kind of the mining facilities and stuff and the the rebels and the the, the lower castes have come up to fight against the, the 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 oppressive corporation so they've lost contact with the space station they've sent in their marines you know the vanguard and it's not actually the rebels it's this horrible nanite plague that's actually turning everyone into big gribbly monsters and it, yeah, it's horrendous. So inside the station that you're playing in, you've got all different areas. You've got like reactors, you've got a um, whole section of gantry work and stuff, and you've got kind of the, the cable system of cars that go between the different facilities. Yeah, yeah, so you can yeah. actually have like a, you know, a fight going into these train parts and things like that. So that's the first one. We've then got the second one, which is, you know, again, very similar. You've got the other ones. You've got your civilians, you've got um, more AOEs, you've got different alert symbols. Um, this is really nice, solid card. It's not going to fray too easily. You know, decent production values, which really yeah. is what you want from a product like this. Yeah, it is really it is, good. It is, as you said, it is really well built for Kickstarter. Yeah. I mean, the stuff that's coming out of Kickstarter is getting much better, and that's really yeah. nice. Yeah, and you know, the, 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 the box art, the, the solidness, the weight, it's, it's a classy, decent product. Right? Would, it, would it be fair to say labour of love? Yeah, I think yeah. so. I mean, yeah, Mike McVeigh's been with the company for ages now. Yeah. So he's been in the field for now for ages, and he knows what he's doing. Yeah. You know, it, he's reflected in what he's built here yeah. so we've got the first of the gaming tiles so in terms of the game you have um, several tiles linked together which shows that part of the scenario you're playing um, each tile gives you a certain amount of points you can then spend on your miniatures so you you don't agree before the battle like oh you know 1500 points yeah. or something like that you, you've got points per tile so you know you're gonna have quite a few monsters the bigger it gets and then from there you can then class you know go into if you're taking characters or just grunts or heavy weapons yeah. and things like that um, the tiles are also oh, yeah, uh, reversible, yeah. so so here's your gantry one, so you've got actually three spaces where if you fall on them, you, you, you're dead, because you literally <laughs> just fall through a thousand miles. Um, yep, we've got the airlock, we've got the medical suite, which yeah. is, is nice and gribbly, you've <laughs> yeah, got I was gonna say, pretty the, much the, the, blood in every corner. Yeah, the green um, stuff and sort of broken things on the floor sort of does sort of give a sort of air of yeah, it, badness went on here. It is quite grisly, yeah. um, which, you know, you expect. It's not going in there for uh, a holiday. You are going in there to wipe out everything you can. Yeah. This looks like some kind of office CNC space, so you've got lots of documents everywhere, loads more blood. And they, um, and they littered, which is just rude. Yeah, yeah. I mean, really, in, in the future, it should be paperless office anyway. Yeah, so yeah. I don't understand and, what's going yeah. on there. And, and if they're that sophisticated, there should yeah. be robots to sort of tidy up. Yeah, the, the clean does not come in that week. Exactly. Which, phew, terrible. Yeah. Ooh. So we've got yep, some more rooms. This looks like some kind of typing pool. Um, <laughs> the, 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 the boss sits in the middle doing nothing in his glass fishbowl and uh, lifts with blood. 
Yeah. Yeah. So does that one does look a little bit like the Beast of War Offices, actually. That's quite <laughs> yeah. just like familiar. In fact, just as messy. I think that's actually the, yeah, the, the, the small one in the corner there must be Justin's, yeah, and and all the big ones, it's Warren's and everyone else's. Yeah. yeah the mess in the blood there is it's uncanny. Yeah, it? it's actually you know, really, pretty much just like around us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know the. Rob slipped on some blood on the way in. Yeah, exactly. You know, for we've been looking at the kind of dodgy green pool over there. <laughs> yeah. uh, it's just horrendous. animal, mineral, vegetable, or something entirely different. But yeah, no, it's a beast of war member. Ah, right. Mostly vegetables. Yeah. Um, oh god. So yeah, we've got the reactor room. Um, yeah, yeah, obviously, damage. big, big, red, and glowy. So it's going to be a reactor. Yep, and does lots of damage to you if you get too close to it. Or being it could a be reactor. a giant disco ball. But either way, you know, yep, going to damage you. Um, and that's generic room. Yeah, generic room. Bit of blood. Yeah, a bit of blood. We're, we're, we're coming More to blood. expect that, obviously. It's kind of a, a, kind of a theme going on there. Yeah. Looks like the, the tramway station. Tramway station, oh, yep. yeah. So here's course. actually, you've got your trains in. Come along here, so you can actually, I think maybe, is there any more? Yep, there's a tramway exit there. Yeah. Oh, right. So you can then connect these, so you've actually got a nice big tramway and have the train moving between car uh, boards between each level. Yeah. So yeah, really nice and cool there. Quite yeah, you've got a fair amount of boards there, so you've got a nice lot of options of what to do with those. Obviously, been reversible as well. So yeah, brilliant. As you said, it's got scenarios in the back, but you know, there's nothing to stop you making your own up because yeah, it's, there's, yeah. a, there's a certain amount of variety. I mean, there. more and more to come out online anyway as you play the game. People either making their own or ones available via um, Mike Bay Studios. Yeah. So that's all good. So the rest of the box, we also have most important factor. Yes. Dice. Good old trusty D sixes. Nothing but sixes for me there. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> okay, well again. Looks you. Four sixes. <laughs> None of French, not, not, French ones here. Not, not loaded, but straight out of the box. Yeah, straight out of the box. Straight uh, out of the yeah, box, yeah. Not tampered with this time. No. I mean, uh, tampered with. Modified, modified. Away <laughs> <laughs> from that, we do have one big bag of fun. Now... Are we opening the big bag of fun? Yeah, yeah, here we Marvelous, go through the right. bag of fun. So in this bag, as you can see, there is a ton of stuff. Let's empty this all out here. Oh, good God. So we've got... Oh, green, which is very important. Yeah, we've got all our nano counters. Yep. Now, in terms of the way the game works, you've got your um, basic vanguard troops who go in, and in return you've got your um, strain, which are the nanite <laughs> monster horrible things. <laughs> evolve, and, yeah. And they, see they, they evolve over turns. Um, you, you generate these kind of nanite clouds that move around the table, and if they come in contact with other nanite monsters, you <laughs> get enough of them, you can then make a bigger monster. Yeah, yeah. Or if they hit... The Vanguard, and you're unlucky, your guys get infected, which to begin with isn't too bad, but once it builds up, they then pop and turn into another big yeah, wibbly yeah. monster. And it, yeah. it's, not, it's not like nice, happy infection, it's extra bits sprouting, regardless if you want them or it, not. It's so. like man flu on crack, yeah. basically. <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, it, it is that terrible. But you get enough of it and you can get guns coming out, which obviously yeah, will show you. And, and all kinds of horribleness. Yeah. So One of my favourite things about the cloud is that it can uh, reanimate corpses. So any vanguard that are killed, yeah. if uh, I believe it's uh, is it just the one, just, just the one. It's cloud, just one can then yeah. reanimate them and bring them into the strain. So the strain uh, force is essentially just keep regenerating, building, keep yeah. recycling. Yeah. Yeah. And obviously you get enough of them, you, the, the player who's playing the obviously the strain can make upgrade that. So it's, you know, you yeah. have the you potential go, of getting... You, you can go from, you know, quite decent little foot troopers who you can take out en masse oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. onto the big monsters that yeah, you're they, really going to have some trouble yeah, with. I mean, they do have the swarm ability where the more of them, the harder they get. I mean, yeah. that's to be expected. It's, as, you know, it's essentially a modern day zombie horde. So we've got yeah, just the nice clear, let's open this up, uh, plastic counters for those. So beautifully done. Yep, you know, nice and, nice and gentle there as yeah, always. Yeah. So these move around and represent your horrible, horrible nanite clouds. We then have which oh, looks oh, like an odd piece. Yes. So these are your base inserts. So what these do in terms of the game, as you're playing, if your, one of your guys gets infected, he gets one of these red counters on the bottom of him. Once he's got three of those, I don't think they, they might click they together. Yeah, they do click yeah, yeah. together. That's, that's so the you bottom can then, one. Yeah, so you can then see as they go together, I stack up. Yeah, you stack up and you can see you've got three there. He then turns into a big wibbly monster. Mm. Or, because you're, you know, the vanguard, you've got some decent tech, you're not Imperial Guard, you get, um, <laughs> like you force, get, you you get, get force training, fields yeah. and you get um, targeted arrays and things like that. Mm. So basically you can use orders, which we'll come into later, click these on the bottom of your guy, then you have like a force field, you can take a certain amount of hits or you negate, you know, you negate damage that's being done to you. Yeah. So yeah, so even though it looks like a bit of an odd little piece in terms of, you know, why is that so important, these are 
critical to the game and also nice throws that nice mechanic there that's yeah, it's a bit yeah. different to what you yeah, see elsewhere yeah there are other games where you've got to mark down on cards or yeah. you've got to use different uh, tokens and yeah. counters yeah. and, and lose track but after right a while you, you start losing these things you, you lose track of who's yeah. doing yeah. it I mean I know, yeah. I know I know, specifically with the card thing if you've got the card and you get in the sort of the heat of combat you will forget to mark the card then. Yeah. Yeah. that happens I mean you know so then we've got uh, and these are quite nice actually, bases right? now because it was a Kickstarter, originally they were just going to have your basic, bland, black slot of bases, mm. which, you know, we've all got piles of those everywhere. They're not that impressive. So they reached a certain level, and then they did these, which are nice thematic. Uh, can you see it there? Cast bases, all in plastic, but they've all been given uh, details, so they look like the actual ground in the uh yeah you mean you've facility. got uh, yeah. yeah you've got so a grate there that, you know, you've that got looks great, like you've got some nice tech basing yep and yeah they, they they add just that little bit extra detail to the game that you know your miniatures just look great on them you don't have to go out and convert them yourself yeah. if you don't yeah. want to yeah. but yeah. straight away it's nice and themed and it it fits together nicely yeah so i mean it's, it's, yeah so it's those little details like the detail bases that you get and you say you get them for all the models in the box set and again things like the the litter and the blood shown on the uh, the game boards that just adds that little extra sort yeah. of um yeah. it's, it's, it's not really it's, sort of it's it's not a clean nice bland environment it's got some real features to it so yeah. here we go there you go so i've clipped oh, you can see that there. The red onto the bottom of that. So this guy has now been infected. Obviously, the bigger ones don't have those kind of things because they, 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 they don't get infected. They're either yeah, they're AI infected. tanks or they're uh, Gribbly. gribblies. Yeah. Well, and then we've got this one. So he's now got a force field. There we go. And then, you know, you just move it around. It doesn't affect, you know, the stability of the board or anything else. That, you know, it's, it's going to sit there nicely. And it's a, it's a nice, different way to do mechanics. Absolutely. Yeah, which, you know, it's all about these days. You've, you've got so many games out there that are very similar. You want something that's going to be just that little bit different. Yeah. So now on to the real fun. <laughs> the toys. Oh, let's pop these open. Notice I'm ripping all these bags open for the first time. Yes. So we've not really got our hands on these yet. We have been sat down there. You can, just, you can see that you're itching. Just <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. We're not allowed to touch it, but we've well, got it in front of us. This only turned up yesterday. <laughs> so um, it's, like, it, it's, it's the mentality. I wasn't sure if it's actually going to turn up in time or not because of the snow. Yeah. It then got delivered to my next door neighbour. <laughs> you know, I, I had to break in their house while they're sleeping yeah. and go and get it. Yeah. Um, yeah, they had a dog. It wasn't a problem. Hmm. Right, so we've got here a nice mix. We've got the... Put these into context. So the, the, the We've got the Marines at the top there for the Vanguard, who are uh, Saracens, I think they're called, or something there. Samaritans. Samaritans, believe, that's it. Yeah. Nice, friendly Samaritans with guns. Yeah, and around. then you've got your Gribblies as well. So put these out. And I've got to say, the, the actual quality of the miniatures is very good. Yeah, I mean, this is good. definitely Mike McVeigh at work yeah. here. You can yeah. see, you know, they're roughly 40k scale, so 28 mil. Yep. But the detail is brilliant, and for plastic models, they've got a lot of character to them. Um, they do require gluing. This isn't, even though it's a board game, I wouldn't say this is something that, as a non modeler, oh, you, no, you want to pick no. up straight away yeah. and try and do because um, it, it does require not a great deal of skill. I mean, you just need to take off a bit of flash here and there, you know, a few yeah. mold lines and then stick them together, but they're not like plug and play. You can't <laughs> just. <laughs> well, I say, but on the, off, on the other side of that, the, the, say the, mod the, the model, sorry, uh, I think the most ones that are the most parts is. Two parts, maybe three yeah, parts. Yeah, they, they don't have. It's, it's I think the the Grendel has like four legs. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's not bad. Yeah. But you know, you need you do need glue. You can't just pick this up and play it straight out of the box. Yeah. yeah. It will um, require it will require files and craft knives and a bit of common sense. Yeah. Depending. Well. Common sense. Okay. Common sense. Is, common sense is always good. I'm especially just with knives. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah files, yeah, but yeah. you know, we've all lost a finger here and there. Oh yeah, yeah and they it's, grow back. You know. So yeah. Um, so these are quite good. Mm. What we've got to do? I'll just move these out of the way. Yeah. So they're quite nice, and you've got weapon arms attached to those. But you did say that you did say there was a variety, so you can actually equip them. Yeah. Up. So you've you've actually got um, rather than just have like all of the same marine trooper, you've actually got four different sculpts for the basic types. You've got helmeted and unhelmeted, male and female. Because you know why e not? Equal employer. Yeah. Equal employer. Yeah. You can all die to the plague. It doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We'll happily employ you. Yeah. Um, and then you've got a couple of extra. Weapon like heavy weapon guys as well, and yeah, this, this, special this, weapons. So right, what we've got here, this is the biggest model in the game. This, this is this the thing is nasty. Yep, this is the Cthulhu. Um, <coughs> yeah, it's Cthulian. I think it's pronounced something like that. Correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah. Probably am. Yeah, but it, um, it, on the forums. So yeah, this thing is is, is monstrous. So th this one does have a fair few parts to it. But again, these are reasonably easy to put together. You know, it is. 
it's not too bad. Um, just slots together. You know, you, you do need a bit of glue. It's not just going to clip together and hold in place. Yeah. Um, but it is, yeah, lovely bit of kit. You've got kind of a big gribbly missile launcher arm. You've got some kind of rail cannon. Big more in the front. Actually, I think this is two models. Yeah, this is actually two models. Oh, well. <laughs> I was getting worried then. There was quite a few bits. So you've got the Grendel, which is the kind of quadruped monster here, which I believe these bits go into. Yeah, that's right. And this one has a big lashing tongue at the front of it. Like so. And it's the usual get hit with it, get infected, which is nice. Yeah, this, this is your kind of infecting vector. This will come in, eat people, suck them inside it, and then spit them out later on as monsters, yep. which is, yeah, pretty nasty. And then you've actually got the Catholian, which is your, almost like a dreadnought. Um, yeah. In essence, really, it, it's, it's a big, big monster with really big arms. It's the pinnacle of the evolution at this point. You know, this is the... The monster to be feared. When this comes out on the table, you know you're yeah. in trouble. I, li I like the way you said at the moment. Oh yeah. I mean, <laughs> well, it's it, watching the videos and things like that, and the interviews with Mike McVeigh. He's, he's talking about this as the intro to the universe. Yeah. Um, seeing the way the points costs work, you know that you're not restricted just by playing the missions. You know you can do your own thing and you can build your own army. Yeah. I can see this either bringing out additional um, add-on packs to the game itself, or potentially bringing out an in-game universe. As I say, Sedition Wars itself, this is uh, the Battle for Alabaster box set, which yeah, is just so there'll, there'll, be, there'll, be more, there'll be more things, obviously. Yeah, this yeah, is just yeah. based in one of the outposts. I yeah. say that apparently, from what, again, from what we've heard from the videos and things like that, uh, there is an entire universe sort of planned, and say yeah. there are expansions coming, but um, we haven't sort of heard details yet. Yeah, I mean, you, I, you've I, got the, the Firebrand out there, which is, you know, in the background of the story, they're going to the station because they think the Firebrand's taken over. Yeah, the Rebels. So yeah. the Rebels are going to come out. You know, they've, they've, they've already done a few models for them already. Yeah. Before this was a, a box game, they had a, a, a small range of models yeah. out there. So, yeah, they're, they're going to be coming. Um, as part of the Kickstarter, you did get access to some models you can buy, which come out later this year. Yeah. And, yeah, there's a few Firebrand in there. There's also a few cool things. You did get some kind of um, sci-fi theme ones. You like the kind of... The, the crew of the Firefly. Oh, nice. yes. Uh, you've yeah. got the guy out of Dead Space. Yeah, yeah. You've got Ripley. Oh, um, what was it? Isaac. Isaac, yeah. yeah Isaac out of Dead Space. Mask, you've yeah. got Ripley and Newt. You've got Vasquez. You oh, know, the... You've got, yeah. 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 You haven't been mistaken to be... Being and a you've also yeah. got um, Six from um, Babylon, uh, Babylon 5, Battle Star Galactica. Yeah. And then you've got the infected versions of them as well. So they're all rah, nice. gribbled up. So cool. that's always good. Yeah. Let's put these bits away. There we go. And then we've got yeah the basic foot troopers we've covered already. Grunts. The big monsters there. Oh yes. We've got the somewhere here. Mr. Portal Tank. Oh yeah, there he is. Right. <laughs> so you've got your, your basic footline grunts, and you've got yeah you know, your bigger monsters, but then you've also got yes that 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 is there a huge gun. Big. Yeah, quite a decent gun. Yeah. You've got a basically a little floating grav tank that you can stick out. So that's always useful to get mm. against the... Uh, yeah. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. So that sits on there, and you've got a little grav tank. Then you've also got a couple of characters in game to use. So let's put the grav tank here. you then got... You've got like a heavy... Oh, so this is the doctor. So you've got a. Where is his yes, remember, component? Generic medic, very handy. Yeah. So he's got a little little bag and uh, he's, he's armed still. He's he's a. Uh, yeah, it's a Samar Samaritan yeah. thing. Yeah, it's a yeah. Samaritan thing again. Yeah. So he's, he's he comes out and he, he you know he, he, you. he either helps you or he puts you out of your misery. Yeah, yeah, one of the two. Um, you've then got this. Uh, there we go. Oh, heavy the, guy here. Now yeah. he's got. Yeah. Quite a, quite a big exo frame around him and a, a nice big gun as well, so that always helps. There's the doctors, and he looks very serious because you don't have happy soldiers apparently in this universe. No, no, they are all they quite. quite they're not, I wouldn't say they're grim and dark. No, but they just are. Stern. Uh, yeah, just just stern. Hmm. In the, yeah, it's in, in the grim darkness of the future. You are just stern. Yeah, there's no happiness, you know. Yeah, um, you then got somewhere here, and oh, we can have a flamer as well in case. In different. You've got Kara Black, who is your thematic, um, basically, the, she's the, the chick off the front of the box. She's the leader of the, the expedition from the Vanguard, isn't she? She's, yeah. So she, she, she's she has the, a metal arm. 
Yeah, she does have a bionic arm mm -hmm. and somewhere in here a sword as well. And she is the, the hero of the hour, really. She's, she's the one who's bringing your army together. You've also got Soka Nishroom something, something that like was, that. That was beautifully done. Yeah, I, I, you convinced I'm, I, me. I'm a natural linguist there. Yeah. Um, and, and she has a dirty big sniper rifle. She has a dirty big sniper rifle and she's a cyborg. Um, oh, I didn't know about the so, cyborg. Yeah, so nice. she, she, she's uh, cold hearted, but she does take a lot of damage easily, you know, and shrugs it off and has a sniper rifle, which, you know, I'm thinking, I'm when, thinking when you're fighting against big groovy monsters that are trying to eat you at close range, having someone that can just snipe into the distance. Yeah. Brilliant, you know, always yeah. useful. But I'm thinking, obviously, because there's less of her that's organic, then she should be harder to infect. You'd think. Yeah, you'd think. But I mean, you know, it's still That's, that's probably me it's, thinking it's, outside the box. But. Yeah. Back in your box. Yeah. Uh. They're, they're brilliant. I mean, Again, the, if you look at that selection there, there's, from what I can, I mean, I can't see any flash at all on those. No, and, I mean, it, so and whatever flash there is, it's, it's minor. Yeah, you know, it's, it's just it's, a file. It's and really it, good. Yeah, yeah. It's not going to take long to make them look pretty, yeah. and painted they're going to be really nice yeah really really nice i mean this is the thing you can play you can play that you can play it unpainted or you can play it painted oh, and painted, painted. yeah obviously. it's always gonna be painted yeah but wargamer wargamer yeah not yeah. so much nah not so much getting into it but yeah. yeah but no i mean it's it's yeah they are very nice i mean like the whole set the whole sort of box just screams you know then, well thought out yeah ah the important bit you've also got your stat cards so a bit like war machine You've got your rule book, but also each unit is covered by the cards. So you've got how far they can move, how much damage they can take, and sorry, their armor level, and then how many wounds they can take as well, plus all their special rules. Um, and and then on the back, they have additional effects as well. Yeah. Um, and it, you know, it's nice just having the cards. You, you've got something to hand. You don't have to faff around carrying loads of books with you. Just the, the rule book for this, those cards, and you can play. And yeah. Solid, you know, really nice. Um, we've got some of the completed models for change. There we go. I uh, was happy enough to actually get the Kickstarter and shell out a little bit more, so we got some extra models, so we were able to uh, put those together outside of the box. Um, what we've got here, we've got a nice couple of strain models. We've also got so yeah, one of the big beasties in the middle. So this is a four-part one. It's solid, you know, it's stable, <laughs> really it, good. Yeah. It, didn't, it didn't fall apart when I did that. Yeah, yeah, which is good, you know. You've got your basic troopers. So we've got one male and one female in reverse order. So this one's the female, this one's the male. You can easily tell because one's got boobs. Uh, but luckily they're, they're well armoured this time. It's not like they're running around in a space bikini. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. And then you've got a heavy weapon trooper as well. We think that's... Uh, there that, we go. That's, that's got to be a flamer. That just screams flamer for me. No, I think it's some kind of laser weapon. It's, ah. it's a bit big for a flamer. Ah. I was just thinking of the gas canister on the bottom, but yeah, or could be plasma. Yeah. yeah. Then you've got kind of your low-level um, gribbly monsters. So you've got the kind of standard variant here, and then you've got like a, a faster variant that's going to charge in and rip your face off. Yeah. Then you go up a level, and you've got the Quasimodo. Uh, unlike his normal, unlike the hump. It's actually a gun. Yep, he, he does have a, a large blaster on him. Um, so he's going to do some nice range damage, which is always useful because, you know, if you've got a ranged army against you, you don't want to have everyone sitting back and shooting you. You want to go against that gun line and get out. Yep. And then last but not least, you've got the... I'm not sure if it's a Grendel. No, this is not a Grendel, but basically big dog monster. Um, it is... Yeah. yeah. And again, really lovely detail. Only takes a little bit of cleaning up to get together. It goes together really nicely, um, and it's solid. You know, it's a really good creature. And they do look so much nicer on those bases. Yeah, they I mean, they, the bases do like add to it. Straight yeah. away, you've got something that really draws the eye, and mm. it, it shows up just that extra little touch of quality, which yeah. I think yeah. is brilliant. So that's what's in the box. Now, in terms of the game itself, it, it's, it's good. Um, it's really good. It's, you can see the different takes from different, different games out there. So, you know, yeah. he's got his, his GW credentials. Everything. He's got his uh, property press credentials. So... Yeah, you've got your move five, you've got um, you know, your basic weapon skills and things like that. But to make it a little bit different, you've got similar things to War Machine, in fact, that rather than have an armor save, you've just got to beat the guy's armor. So you, you know, yeah, like, like yeah. War Machine there, yeah. and every point over that, you then start taking wounds off. Um, in a kind of dystopian wars style, every time you roll a six, it explodes. So you get that six plus whatever dice you roll on top. Um, Which is lovely. 
Yeah, especially for me. I mean, yeah, King yeah. of the Six is yeah, here. King of the Six is here. Yeah, um, so that's again, always good. That means that things like even the lowest level trooper can take on one of the the larger beasts. Yeah, yeah. so yeah, it's, six everything's is, a threat. Yeah, that's that's on both sides. Good. So yeah. you know, you can't everyone's sit back got and go. A so, so, yeah, yeah, maybe may well be a remote chance, but everyone's yeah, got but a still chance. a chance. Yeah, um, which is great. And then on top of that, it's got kind of stuff like infinity yeah. so it's reactive and active turns which means so say i'm the vanguard player and i'm moving up um, in my active turn i can do my normal move i can do my couple of shoots and i can do my orders yeah. so i can do like you know put a force field up or um activate a sensor yeah. put a target reticle on someone else you know things like that yeah. but say i walk around the corner and this creature's sitting there waiting mm. it then gets to react yeah. So my turn is essentially paused at that point, and then the monster will like you know jump out and try and rip my face off, or it will try and shoot something and take my face off. Yeah. Generally, it was just gonna do something to take my face <laughs> off. Yeah, I'm thinking. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm it's always, it's the, always the face. The yeah, yeah, it's yeah. gonna be the face. Um, and then the same with the vanguard. So you know you're you're sitting there waiting. The monster walks past you. You're not gonna sit there and go, no, no, it's his turn. I'll, I'll, I'll wait till he's finished moving and ripping my face off. Then I'll shoot him. Yeah. No, as soon as he comes in your crosshairs, you put in, you know caps in his ass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're gonna shoot him. Yeah. Um, which you know it works so well for Infinity. Brilliant on this kind of game. You know, it's nice tight corridors. You can you know shimmy around the walls, move around. You know. Yeah. Tactically. Yeah. yeah tactically get. But you gotta make sure something's not get you and you know yeah. get shot in return. So that, that has a nice element to it. So. You know, it's a blend of all the kind of good bits of different games that are out there at the moment that we've all enjoyed. Yeah, I mean, and brought them together, which hopefully, you know, when we get a game shortly, yeah, it's going to be, you know, a nice, fluid running game, and it's got some interesting tactics out there. Yeah, and the good thing is, no one has to wait. No, because you're always, yeah, you're, you're which, always you know, participate. Always you're an active. Yeah. If yeah. you've played a, like a, a pocket level game or something like that, 40k, the guy's taking four hours to move his 1,500 tyrannies. Yes, yeah, yeah. they're like 30 points. It bored to tears, you know. You're just like, oh, just kill me now. Just get rid of the game. Get on with it. So it when you're actually both taking a turn each, yeah, yeah, it's you know, fun. Or, or, sorry, turns in each other's turns. It keeps it going, keeps you interested. So actually, and it actually makes turn, you think. Yeah, you it, it turns from being a purely endurance to actually being a game. <laughs> yeah, yeah exactly. Nice, uh, you're not just trying to outbore the other player's <laughs> submission. Yeah. You're actually trying to play the game. The battle of wills. Yeah. So yeah, really good. Yeah. Um, yeah. This week we don't have a prize because you would have to drag this. <laughs> well, you, you have to basically drag me down and take it from my cold, dead hands because I've been waiting so long for it. Yes. So this is mine. Mine, 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 so mine, mine, if, mine. If we don't see you later in a battlefield autopsy, does that mean that one of us has maybe... Yeah, so, <laughs> yeah. so if one, either of these two guys turn up with the box... And a big smile. And a big smile. Look what I got. You know, <laughs> and maybe... <laughs> bloody hands as well. Yeah, you know. Yeah, it'd be quite nice because whoever, get, whoever gets it goes, oh, yeah, oh, mine came pre-built. Yeah, yeah, I, pretty I, cool, I, pretty I, open. I, I do foresee it's something of a, a fight to the death and not, not just on the board either. <laughs> yeah. This is going to be. So, uh, get them first. Always get them first. Yeah. See? Active, reactive. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, that was our uh, What's in the Box this week. So, there you go. It's good. Beautiful Look out for good. the uh, Battlefield Autopsy soon. Yes. And, yeah. Cool. Thank you.